Warning. The following program may contain foul fucking language, gory ass shit, or the occasional slow point because I can be a lazy fuck with editing. Viewer discretion is potentially advised, but also probably rejected. Greetings from the land of OP, I am Rob the OP Gamer, and I am bringing you episode 2 of my Ultra Hardcore Minecraft series. Going to be getting some work today on some uh, Tinker's Construct opening here, and we are going to get started pretty much pretty quickly. I'm right where I left off. Seriously, I just ended the last episode and started this one. So really nothing has changed. I haven't actually gotten anything going. I just wanted to get the intro out of the way because I'm going to keep playing. So uh, yeah. We'll do another quick cut almost instantly. Nice 30 second clip to get going. <laughs> These better furnace iron furnaces are supposed to be cooking up 1.5 times normal speed, but it sure fucking doesn't feel like that sometimes, I swear to god. It's supposed to be like a 50% speed boost. Nah, whatever. So I am going to be making up some copper here. And then I'm going to make up some glass. And what I'm going to make is a couple of portable tanks. These guys are from Thermal Expansion, and all you need is one copper in the center and four of any kind of glass around the sides. So we're just going to take these two copper, and I'm going to stick them over here. And I only did that because I'm, I like to make everything in batches of eight, because that's how one coal cooks. I did go ahead and end up breaking down making some charcoal, uh, because as much, as much basalt as I'm going to have to be mining up to make my base is uh, going to take a lot of more coal than I actually have. So mined up some area here with wood and I'm gonna build it right here I'm gonna start right here in this valley this little flat here I'm gonna build it right in here probably level out some of this dirt a little bit at some point so I can have some farmland but that won't be for a while yet just want to get a basic base going on first so that's gonna be the order of business right off and then I'm going to get a some sand going on here and I'm gonna get some tanks I'm gonna put my extra copper away in this chest I'm not sure why my inventory tweaks isn't working I'm going to have to check into that. I hope I'm not using my old mod pack and not my current mod pack. If I am, I might have to move the world between folders, but that won't be any sort of cheating anything. It will just be basically an update. So we'll grab some, grab some glass here. And the whole idea for this portable tank is so we can do this. We can take those guys and we can surround them here like this. And we get a portable tank like that. And the idea is that I can set this guy down and then not do anything with him because I haven't made a crescent hammer. So let's make one of those. We need some tin and we need three iron, so we're gonna have to do that. So let me grind up some more iron and stuff and I'll be back. Three iron and some tin and we get a crescent hammer. Wadow! And a crescent hammer is the tool that thermal expansion uses to manipulate things like the under tank. So you can shift right click to pick that guy up and he retains his liquid. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna fly up to the top here all the way up to the top of this volcano and we can set down the ender tank or the uh, excuse me portable tank and I can take my bucket and I can do this doink 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 and I can just use this as a source of lava which is kinda cool I just have to be careful that I don't like you know fly straight down into it because that would be unfortunate thankfully though I'm a little more careful than that. So this portable tank, I don't know why, oh there we go, 6,000, 7,000, and 8,000, that guy's full. So we can go one, we can go two, three, dizzy yet? <laughs> Four, five, hero, six, and seven, and eight. So it's a nice little bit of lava, and I can gradually empty this guy out as I mine him down, because eventually, eventually I will probably end up mining a good piece of this out. So we're probably, like, we're 16 blocks down now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight right there, so we're probably down to about right there. So I've emptied this volcano out a good little bit, so that makes me happy. We got these eight plus those two that I originally put over there. So I'm going to stick these guys in here for now, just for the time being, because we don't need them at the moment. And what I'm going to do next is, well, we've cooked up a lot of this, so I need to go get some more basalt so I can start making base frame. 
All right, I have been flying around this river for a while, collecting up a bunch of clay and some gravel, and I got a little bit of iron in a hole in the ground that I found, but I got a little bit cocky and there was a skeleton down there, so you can see I took another heart of damage. I uh, used to be an adventure bat, but then I took a arrow to the wing, something. He's going to hurt, so I'm going to back off and let him just fall to his death. Bye-bye. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get these slime, pieces of slime. I'm going to leave this tree here mostly. Actually, I think it's going to come down now, but whatever. I'm not that concerned about getting the tree saplings because I don't need them. Uh, what I want is this congealed green slime because that turns into slime balls. I'll take that too. And likewise, where's the little slime guy down here? Fell to his death and made a baby slime. Yeah, he did. Okay, cool. Maybe he'll give me another one of those. Nope. Oh well, not a big deal. So, the slime will be important here in a second, and I'll explain why. But for the time being, we're going to head back over here, and I am going to outline where I'm going to put my base for the most part here. So, uh, now that I've cooked up a bunch of basalt, I am going to take that, and I'm going to take that, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put away all this stuff for the time being. I'll get it back out in a few minutes. And that can go away. There we go. And we're going to make just a stack of, uh, four stacks of bricks. You just make your typical brick pattern just like stone, and you're going to get your basalt bricks. Fantastic. I don't think these actually get made, oh, you can make them in defense. Big deal. Anyway, so we're going to come over here, and I'm going to be laying out over in this general area. And this is a nice little dip in the ground that I'm going to go ahead and go with. So we'll start out, actually I should probably make another shovel, just really quick. We'll put it right there, and we'll get our sticks, and shovel. Sweet! So I'm going to go ahead and go like this. We're going to go two, three, four, five, six. I counted two because that one was already not there. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's fine. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Well, uh, we'll go with one more. And I'm going to get rid of this tree. Because this tree doesn't need to be here. He's in the way of the construction. There we go. And I'm going to go with a 19 by 19 is how I like to make my houses. I big build. Build big. Big build. <laughs> Whatever. So we got 19 here. So if I lay this out, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Beautiful. So I build rooms in 19 by 19 rooms. So this is going to be right here 2 because that's already 1. That way the inside is going to be 19 by 19. I don't know why I did that because I'm going to clear that out. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Right there. That's going to be the first base room. So I'm going to go ahead and morph, and we're going to sleep through the night, because night just hit. Night always seems to hit right as I finish doing what I was doing and go to record again. A little weird that. Maybe it's because I go out and do a bunch of shit, and then I don't stop to wonder how long I was at it. That's probably why. So, we'll get rid of this. It's nice because this was already mostly cleared out. Mostly. There we go. That's nice. And I don't give a crap about those. So, now we can come here, and I can do this. And we're going to just run straight through here. Actually, let's go ahead and just lay this out really quick. Don't do 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 do. There we go. Yep. Perfect. And then we're gonna come across. There we go. And we're gonna come over what? Two more? Yeah, that looks good. Almost done. There we go. Really simple. I like simple. 
Simple as simple. So we'll pull this across here. And just like that, we got our first base room. So that's going to be the outline for that. I'm going to get these flowers out of here. And I'm going to replace them over here because I'm going to get them later. I like to have those ink sacks. So that's going to be the first base room. And then I'm going to probably do... Let's see, I'm thinking that the front of it's going to be this way. Or actually out right here. This will be the front area. So I'm going to make another room over here and another room over here. So this is going to be quite a bit of building. Uh, so give me a little bit, guys. I'll be back. All right, so I got a nice framework laid out here. This is where the first three rooms are going to be for the base as soon as it's finished. Still sleeping under the stars for the time being, but I made a few barrels because after clearing all that out, it's not like I didn't have enough wood to do it. Nah. So I'm going to transfer uh, my junk, uh, sand, I'm going to get this clay out of here too, gravel, uh, what else, more sand, that looks good. And I'm going to stick a lot of this in here, so that's going to there, there we go, there we go, and there we go. That way we can have at least some nice semblance of organization. This is again all temporary, this is going to be moved into the base eventually. But I want to get a smeltery up and running here so I can show you guys how I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to get mining between episodes and do a lot of actual tunneling. So um, we're going to go, well, let's just start out with a stack and a stack and a stack, and I can go get more later. And you take this and you take this and you take this and you get grout. And you're going to get two grout per one recipe and we are going to cook those bitches up. And basically, once we get our seared bricks, there's one, there's one, and then four of these seared bricks is going to get us one actual brick. Doink. So one se four seared bricks gets a seared brick. Oh, and, oh, the S is different. A seared brick gets a seared bricks. Four for one, obviously. So we're going to do that, and then what we need to do is two more and two more, and if we make a circle of these guys, we're going to get a smeltery controller, which is what we want, and we get a new book. And I'm going to stick that book in there because I don't need it right now. And I'm also going to sleep through the night because as usual, <laughs> God, and we got to cook up some glass as well, so I'm going to hit bat mode. And well, I guess that's going to take a while, so I'm going to go... I'm going to go get some more sand, probably, because I think that's what I'm lowest on. Actually, I got about equal gravel and sand, so we're going to kick it. So I'm going to cook up some of this grout. We'll be back. I think what we'll do... Ow, shit. Sat wrong. Sour. What we're going to do while we wait for that to cook up is make uh, the startings out of what we're going to need for our smeltery stuff. So I'm going to make a chest. There's a chest. And we are going to take and make a few sticks. And we are going to take and make seven probably of these, because whatever. Seven's good. So that's going to be our stencil worker, apparently, achievement. Actually, let's make a few more of those. That'll be good. Sticks. Sticks. So I guess seven more, that'll be fine. There we go. So we'll get a bunch of those and we get a chest and one of those blank patterns and we get a pattern chest. And I just saw fire happen over there. There's another book, we don't need that. Is that from, oh, that must be from lava that I put there ages ago. Why did it just now catch fire? That's weird. Anyways, now we're gonna get a log and a blank pattern that's gonna give us a part builder. And then we're going to get a straight wood log, and that's going to get us... Oh, that is the part builder. Hang on. We need one more of those guys. That's going to get us the uh, stencil table. And what's the last one? Oh, the crafting table. That's right. So we get a vanilla crafting table, and we apply a blank pattern, and that's going to get us our tool station. Ha na 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 For those of you who plays all that. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting this guy thinking over here. I think this will be the main base room right here is what I'm going to do. And this will be the two magic rooms. So I'm going to put him over here. So this is going to be the floor. 
So I'm going to just for the time being, we're going to need three. This will be in the wall. Two, three, come out right like that. One, two, three, that will be the wall. I'm not going to use these bricks for the floor. I'm just sort of outlining this for now. And then I'm going to stick these guys. This is all going to be recessed in the wall because I like to recess things in the wall. So tool station is going to end up being, let's give a little bit of a space because this is going to be the outer edge and then we're going to have where the casting tables are and then we'll leave a space and then we'll put it right there. Whoop. Oh shit. Go figure. There we go. So that's going to be our tool station. And then we're going to get our part builder right there. That was a hell of a little, that was a little bit of lag. Just like that. So stencil table gets these and we're going to take the basic things right off the top right away. Uh, we're going to start with the tool pattern, tough tool, or the, the tool rod, excuse me. And then here's a pickaxe head. We need that guy. Uh, oh, don't need the shovel head right now. Don't need the axe head right now. We'll do those later. Sword blade probably. Uh, wide guard looks good. No, no, yes. So that's basically all we're going to need to get started, really. So I'm going to just throw these in the pattern chest. And when you get your patterns in here, you write them off the stencil table onto the blank patterns. And then you put them in the pattern chest. The part builder builds the parts out of these stencil pieces, okay? And once you get these in here, then you can make the bits of them. You put the material on the left side, or on the right side, excuse me, and whatever you're going to make out of it, and then you get, the, it shows you what you can get out of that. But I'm not going to make a wood hand guard right now. That's not part of the plan. So I just wanted to show you how we're going to set that up. Okay? And in the meantime, over here, let's check how much of this grout we got going. Are we, oh, we're almost done with the grout. That's okay. So we'll do this. We'll get a stack of bricks. And I'm going to get laying on these bricks over here. This, weirdly enough, the fun part is this looks just like the basalt. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same shade. Let's see. Yep. It's exactly the fucking same. It looks like the basalt, but it's not. Seared brick, basalt brick. Seared brick, basalt brick. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, the shades are slightly different. The brick patterns sort of conform as part of the way that the brick patterns just happen too. But if you look really close, it's a slight different shade. That's funny. So we're going to go with that, and I think I'm going to need a lot more than this, but I'm going to put the controller, uh, controller I'm going to put right here, because he's looking into the smeltery, and the tank, the lava tank, I'm going to put back here. That's just kind of how I like to do things. And I'll get some more bolt bricks, and we're going to come out like this. I don't know why I'm getting a little bit of lag here, it's kind of strange. Uh, does that look good? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, we'll keep that for now. Let's go see about some more bricks. How I usually do this uh, when I make my tank, of course, is I do the tank recipe. And then we need to have, I like to do three on either side, which means six total drains. So we'll do that. One, two, one, two. There we go. And then we're going to need six of these guys. Oh, it's basins. Is it that? No, oh, it's up here, I think. There we go. Six basins. That looks good. And then I like to do uh, three casting tables. Three casting tables, and then I do three uh, casting basins. And then the wood, uh, we still got some of these cooking up, so should have enough. I might need to make one more set of this stuff before we get going. But uh, there we go. That'll be two. Just enough for those. And that'll finish cooking up. And then I'll get the rest of the bricks going here for the wall in a second. And then I'll get the tank over here. So I built out the wall a little bit for the base side of the base because you see I like to recess these in the wall. And I put the tank right there. And then I usually hide these in the wall next to it. So I'll stick this, uh, we'll put him right there. Eventually this will be completely hidden because I won't need to come back here at all. I can just hide this hall in completely in the wall. But for now I have to manually bucket that in. So we're going to do smeltery drain. Actually let's go get a few more bricks. Because I like to have at least the bottom part of the bricks set up and I can start using it almost right away. 
and we'll do one of these numbers. There we go. That's four. That's only four. Shit. <laughs> That'll only be five. I'll throw some more grout in there to cook. How much of this stuff do I have? Not even half a stack. Hang on one second, guys. All right, this should be exactly enough. So we're gonna head over here, and as you saw before, I stuck the controller right there, and you gotta make a line. So it's like a three by three inside, so the edges is actually out here, okay? So this is actually gonna be terrible. So I'm gonna move this a little bit really quick, just so I can get back there. Again, eventually I won't ever have to do that, but until I get the ability to hide in the wall, that's how it is. And as soon as you place the last brick to contain the 3x3 inside, the controller lights up. And you can see I've got enough space to smelt 9 items. Because it's 3x3 is 9. And if we stack this up a little bit, we can go drains. You want drains on the second level. Like so. And if I lift, shift left click that, or shift, yeah, shift right click that, it doubles. So now we have 18 spaces in here because it's twice as high. So it's 3x3 three three is 9 times 2 high is 18 inside. So I like to go up as high, as, oh I forgot about those two bricks. <laughs> nice. So I need two more bricks. I should have enough in here from cooking up. I like to go with a four high smeltery. That's just generally what I like to be at. And so we need two more. There's one, there's two. I have a few extra bricks. Not bad. Not bad at all. Usually I end up with like a stack of extra bricks because I way over fucking do it. So here is our smeltery ladies and gents. And we have tons of room in here. Sweet! So, um, then what we do is we pick one side for casting tables. And we pick one side for casting basins. And then I like to cover it up right there because I'd like to be able to make my wall uniform. So just with regular basalt bricks, I'll come through here and chop that off because that's not supposed to be there. And then basically I continue with my wall in both directions. So the wall is unbroken like that. So the smeltery is in the side. And then when I get this completely covered up so that it feeds in there automatically, I'll cover this wall up the same way. It'll look uniform on all sides. But for now, I have to bucket that in manually, which is unfortunate. So seared drain goes right on these guys. And even though I've covered up the controller, I can still right-click it from the side of it right there. So I just keep in mind, personally, I know that that's where it is. You can see the fires behind it right there. And if you, if you like to do this but don't want to forget where it is, put a sign right here and point down. This is, hey, controller's right there. So, um, now we're going to smelt up some iron, and I'll show you how to do the um, casting in a second. Okay, so we're going to need our aluminum, and we're going to need our copper. And I don't have the regular starting book, but I've got the materials in you, which is going to show us. That we've got... Uh, where is it? Did I pass it? I might have passed it. Nope, maybe it's the other book. Is it this guy? one of these there we go so we got aluminum brass which is three aluminum and one copper so we've got what five aluminum of course we don't have six wow shit well that's all right that will be just enough to get us what we want i'm gonna grab some of our flint here and i'm gonna get over here and what we're gonna do is we have to make a casted piece and i didn't grab any iron did i no hang on i need iron and I'm only going to grab one iron, because it's all that's going to be needed. And I might as well grab an ingot. Let's just grab four iron. So this also acts as an ore doubling mechanic. So instead of grinding up with that hand grindstone, what I can do instead is I can smelt it in here. Because if you smelt one alloy in here, uh, we're going to get our bucket, and we're going to get some lava. And we're going to go one, and we're going to go two, and we're going to go three, and we're going to go four. It holds four. And it should tell you, 3850. Yep, okay. Full enough. It's got plenty of lava in there. And if you look in the controller, you can see the lava's filled up on the right side a little bit. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to melt up some aluma brass. And that's just the one copper and the three aluminum. And we're going to go dink, dink, and we're going to melt those four down. You'll see that once you put them in the controller, it will have them in there. And if you look up inside, you can see that they're in there and they're melting. See that? three and one. They look like blocks even though they were ore, but hey, that's all right. So that's going to smelt up. And then what we're going to do is while that's smelting up, we're going to come over here to our part builder and I'm going to make a pickaxe head out of flint. Okay. So pickaxe head out of flint and then this is going to be, take this guy and you just right click it right there. 
and that's still smelting. Let me go see if I've got a few pieces of reed for some paper, because I'm going to use a paper binding, which allows us to have a little bit of an extra upgradable part later on. So I just planted these reeds. Oh, that's plenty. Oh, yeah. Sweet! So I only need three of these. I'm going to plant... There we go. Because we're going to make these into paper. Oh, geez. I'm just going to fall all over the place. We'll stop by our crafting table really quick right here. Paper. And then we're going to get over here. And for the part, I'm going to make a paper uh, tool binding pattern. Like that. Doink. And we're going to make a slime ball. So the slime, the crystal slime, this is why the slime is important. Uh, you, you smelt slimy mud, which is one dirt, one sand, and three slime balls. So what I'm going to do up here is we're going to hit our crafting table really quick. And I'm going to pop him into four slime balls, because that's where we got off the slime island earlier. One sand, one dirt, gives us, gives us our slimy mud. And Oh, I just wasted a whole charcoal. I meant to use sticks on that, but I clicked that in there too quick. Oh, well, whatever. Not too big a deal. Nerd rage all you want, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> so here's the reason we're doing this. There's a couple of reasons. Uh, the paper binding gives us an extra upgrade slot. When you make tools out of Tinker's Construct tools, you can get upgrade slots on them to do more things with them for better enchantments and stuff. And the nice thing... Oh, eight of those guys. Jesus. The nice thing is that they don't uh, break. They don't get destroyed. They just have to be repaired. So we pour the aluminum brass around our flint pickaxe head, and that's going to give us an aluminum cast. And I'll pick, take that guy off there. We don't need him anymore. Pretty much ever. And that is nuts that we have so many of those. I'll probably make a few other casts here while I'm at this, because I got the flint with me. And then we got the paper binding, and then we're going to use a uh, this guy to make the handle tool rod. And that's going to give us one extra piece. Uh, the slime rod is going to give us extra durability for this guy. So I'm going to hang on to this for now. I might use that again for something later on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come to our... Uh, let's see. We need to use this up for something. I'm going to go ahead. I like to be, make up some ingots. So if we put ingots on here and make the casts like that, then that's going to give us ingot casts so that we can double our or, or, or output. doesn't use up the iron. See, I've still got the iron. So that's good. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a chest really quick here. Uh, just use C on the ground. That'll do fine. And I'm going to make us a... Doink, 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 doink. Doink, doink. And I'm going to dig out this corner right here, which is where I usually like to put this chest. And we're going to put our casts in here for the time being. I'm going to need to hang on to that one because I'm going to need it in a second here. Uh, store that in there. I'll store that in there. We need these in a second. Paper can stay in there too. Bucket might as well live in there because I need it for over there. Actually, I'll carry the bucket on me because I like to have a bucket with me usually. So there's that. How much more brass do I have? Four? Okay, that's cool. So I'm also going to make a flint, uh, let's see, we're going to go with a flint tool binding because we'll need that later on down the road. And then I'm going to make a flint tool pattern as well. That's two. I got four more, so we'll do the sword blade while we're at this. And we'll do the wide guard pattern as well, because why not? Might as well just go ahead and use up what I got. And then we'll just hang on to this extra flint piece later. So I'm going to take our binding pattern and our sword blade and our tool rod. And we're going to make our cast of these guys as well. That'll be useful in future episodes. Not right now. Just drop those in there. And we're going to get these guys back. And now the wide guard because I didn't do that one yet. Wide guard. And of course I'll just hang on to these. These are extra. I don't know if, the, if I ever find a use for those, but that's all right. If you don't ever find a use for it, it's not that big a deal. And this should be empty now. Yep, nothing in there. So we'll sort that as well. Extra flint pieces and extra flint. We'll just put that in there because we'll make more casts later on. And then we'll do our pickaxe head, and now we're going to melt up one iron ingot. You can melt the ingot up straight on its own. Uh, even if it's already cast, it can be smelted back down into molten iron. And if actually, if I take this back, you can see it says material cost 1. It takes 1 material cost to make that pickaxe head. If I look at these ones, you can see the tool rod is half. Uh, sword blade is 1. Wide, uh, bi tool binding cast is half. Wide guard is half. That's why I was getting back these shards when I was making them on the part builder as well. Each pattern has a material component cost. 
So it's going to take a full iron to make this pickaxe head, which is fine. That's what we're going for. So as soon as this melts up, we are going to have our pickaxe. And I won't have to use this guy ever again. <laughs> when, hurry up. I need a real pick. And this video needs to end because we're almost out of time. Or actually, I think we are at time. That's okay. I just wanted to show you guys that we got the smeltery up first thing. Because I'm going to do a lot of digging between now and next episode. I'm going to come back next episode with Ars Magica is my plan. So we have one ingot worth of molten iron. Just right click that guy. Now instead of pouring a cast around the head, we're actually casting the head with the iron. So we have an iron pickaxe head now. So I'll take this guy off of here. I'm actually going to get these out of there. And we'll move these over here because I'm insane and neurotic. And actually, we're going to go like that. Nice. And I like to put these and leave these on the tables because from now on, instead of having to hand crank that hand grinder I made last episode, I can just throw things in here. Because if you throw an iron ore, if you throw a straight ore in here, it'll double the ore for you. Like you throw one ore and you get two um, ingots worth and you can pour them into these casts and get your ingots out of there just like that. So the same way as we got the pickaxe head. So that's fantastic. So I won't be hand cranking anymore. I'll just have to find lava. But luckily I live near two volcanoes. So now we got our pickaxe pieces, we're going to have our pick iron pickaxe head, our paper binding, and our slime tool rod. And it's going to show you we have four modifiers. If we, do, if we use something besides paper, it would be three. So that will be important in the future. And the, um, we have reinforced one from the slime handle, meaning it, it, it gets a durability boost. And its mining level is going to be redstone, meaning that I can mine everything up through redstone with this iron pickaxe because it's iron. So that's going to be redstone, diamonds, lapis. I can mine pretty much everything short of obsidian with this thing. And later on, once I actually find a diamond, I can actually come up and apply the diamond to it to make it so that it can mine diamond stuff, which is just delicious. One of my favorite parts of this whole thing. So between this episode and next, guys, I'm sorry to say this is uh, the part where, I've, uh, where I'm going to wrap up this episode. Uh, we're a little bit long, so no big deal there. I'm going to pose for the camera right here in front of this, uh, my smeltery. Go ahead and take your picture, because obviously you're collecting my desktops, right? You better be. So next episode, we'll come back with some Ars Magica. Uh, by that point, I will have filled out. I'll mind up the beach like crazy behind me so that I've got glass going on so I can make this an actual proper base. So until then, uh, make sure to like, follow, favorite, subscribe, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter, slash Rob the OP Gamer for each one. Peace!